A. Man, I like my theme song. <laughs> Woo, somebody stop me. Then, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say good afternoon to everybody out there in Chester County, Coatesville, and on my Facebook page. Mm. It's hump day, ladies and gentlemen. Another Wednesday. Just sit back and chill, listen to this for a second while I get my head together. Y'all didn't know I played the lap, ladies and gentlemen. Not the piano, but I played the lap. All right, that's enough, that's enough. That is enough, enough, enough. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you, I gotta stop because this young lady right here, I wanna be a good steward of her time. She got stuff to do. And ladies and gentlemen, so I'm, I'm gonna introduce you, but I'm gonna do a little something different. First of all, all you people within the sound of my voice, you know what you're supposed to do. Get on those tablets, them iPhones. I can't afford an iPhone. Get on them Androids, pull this up and click the share button. Just make sure that I get it because although this is going to be a little bit different this afternoon, we're still going to be honoring highs and hellos and shout outs. So ooh, we got a couple people in here already. Let me see who we got so far. Oh, they haven't signed in. They must be at work and they don't want nobody to know. But that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have Miss Ebony Roberts. Now, for a lot of you who follow my midday show, you know, usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I get on here, I try to give updates about things that's going on, birthday shout outs, throw it for the day, just whatever comes to my mind. You know, we do it together, right? But today I want to, I want to spotlight one individual event or shall I call it an initiative that is transpiring and that's going to be going on and I have a young lady here who's an excellent spokesman one of the planners there's a, there's, a, there's a few of us and we're trying to plan this thing called the coastal black media renaissance but before we get into all that I want this young lady to just introduce herself and tell y'all a little bit about herself hit it Ebony Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ebony Roberts. I'm born and raised in Coatesville. I am a, an independent filmmaker and television producer and I'm happy to be here with Foz today. Man, you know, I, I'm excited. Now, wait a minute, I was with Rashad Grove last night. He writes for BET Philadelphia Inquirer and now I'm with a filmmaker. Mom, <laughs> I finally made it, top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Mayer, that's uh, who's that Cagney, wasn't it? Anyway, Iris Holmes, it is good to see you. Iris, uh, don't forget to share this, Iris. We're going to talk about the Coatesville Black Media Renaissance. But look, before we go any further now, you said you're a, a filmmaker. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I would say for the past at least seven years. Wow. Well, and, and, and and what what made you want to do that? Is there something was a light bulb went on and said, this is what I want to do with my life? What's going on with that? I mean, I've always been interested in film. Like film and television have been my life since I was just this high. So uh, I've always been interested in the behind the scenes aspects and what you have to do to, in order to make a film. So I decided to do it on my own. Wow, that is so exciting. Hey, Evelyn Johnson, I know you're in the background. Thank you for hitting the share button, Evelyn, because Evelyn, Iris, what we're doing is gonna be a community-wide initiative. It's just that there are some planners that have come together since, since the middle of last year. We've been planning forever. And, uh, and it's gonna culminate in a citywide uh, celebration, Crystal, Crystal Love Maxwell. Oh, you, you need to be on there with singing, Crystal. Uh, it's going to culminate with a citywide, I don't want to call it a celebration, but it's going to be an inclusive event that's going to touch on so many different areas. The legislation, arts and culture, and communications and media, and that's what we got right there. But look, before I get all hyped up about that, I want to say one more thing before I get real serious. During our planning sessions for the last six, seven months, Ms. Roberts here has been coming to the meetings virtually on Zoom with a head wrap on. Okay. <laughs> I'm down with that. Okay. 
So now she's on the Zoom meeting and I see this person who's got hair that's leaning all up against the wall. It's <laughs> all in the back. And it's like, get Christy Love, Pam Greer, you know, uh, all that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh man, God bless her soul. But I am so glad to have you. Hey, now I want to ask you some questions. Yeah, every once in a while, hopefully we'll stop and I'm going to give some people some shout out. Y'all can still come on. I know y'all y'all mad because there ain't going to be no birthday shout out, but that's okay. Ebony, talk to us about the CBMR. What's it all about? I mean, basically, it's a group of us from Coatesville. Uh, we've been blessed with the opportunity to be funded to uh, express ourselves through media and art. Um, about different social and economic issues uh, that are prevalent in the city and to use our voice our way. So that means like nobody else is in the driver's seat. We're all in the driver's seat, giving it to you how we see it and um, putting a more positive light on Coatesville, we'll say. Yeah, and, 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 uh, and this isn't just, this is not just predicated on us. We we're going to open it up to the community so we can hear their voices. Am exactly. I correct? Exactly. Exactly. I like it. I like it. Now, all right. So how do you think we can can provide a platform whereby we can address the inequities due to COVID-19, the economic downturn, and unjust criminal system? How do you think we can provide a platform? I mean, what do you envision? So the platform that we're going to provide, I, I mean... One of the ideas floating around mm -hmm. would be a media outlet uh, that would allow different people um, to give segments and report different things about throughout the community. So essentially it would be a television outlet for Coatesville. So we'd be interviewing, doing different interviews and getting the people's voice in the community. Okay, so now you're gonna be interview interviewing mostly youth, am I correct? So it would be, the youth would be the ones doing the interviews, mm -hmm. but we would be interviewing different people throughout the community. Okay, so we're talking adults and young folks who you'll be interviewing? So, yes, correct. But they're, the team of news people would be youth, would be the, the, the youth in the city. All right, now, 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 when you get all these interviews, what will you do? Will you stitch them together and create something that the community could see in regards to the voices of the community? Or would it be on a stage with a big screen? How do you envision that? So the plan is to uh, develop like uh, YouTube, develop all platforms of social media. So Twitch, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, all of those social media outlets. Um, would lead all roads would lead to that outlet to that news outlet. Good, good. Hey, wait a minute. Let's say good afternoon, Jennifer Rosado. You know how I like to say your R and your last name, Rosado. Angela Brown, top of the afternoon. Vandora Brickus and Claire Linlow. It is good to see you this afternoon. Hey, look, right now we have a special guest on here, Ebony Roberts from what is that sweet and saucy filmmakers what is it <laughs> joe black media as well as uh short and sweet films there you go joe black media and short and sweet i i, I knew it wasn't sweet and saucy i just wanted somebody <laughs> to laugh but check this out okay so now i i, I could i could see this now you say we're going to stitch it together and we're going to have it on social media platforms and possibly mm, Maybe like like on a big screen or something, especially yeah. if we're on an indoor place that's got AV. Uh, Iris said, "Wow, that's awesome, Ebony. Uh, her idea, Iris, or her hair? <laughs> Which one is it? Okay, you tell us in the comment section. All right. So look, now I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, when Ebony's at these meetings, she's like E. F. Hutton, and if you all know the commercial about E. F. Hutton, when E. F. Hutton talks." people listen because no. that's what i do i'm listening because i i'm i'm seriously not the brains of the outfit i'm more of the communications guy i'm just i'm the front man like when i'm bad and uh, i listen to her i listen to her 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 assistance in organizing this program and it's giving it vision and it's giving it clarity man and i like it because a guy like myself i need to be told what to do uh, as a matter of fact my wife says uh if i want your opinion i'll give it to you <laughs> That's messed up, though, eh? 
<laughs> a lot of y'all do that too. It ain't right. Anyway, okay, Coachville Black Media Renaissance. I feel it now. We have various people that are bringing their areas of expertise to this whole function. All right, let me ask you. Why do you think it's important for us to discuss these concerns on a large scale as a community? I mean, I think for way too long, Coastville hasn't been able to control its own narrative. So the only the negative has been highlighted. So once we take control of that, then we show Coastville, we, we are showcasing Coastville for what, who we really are and the true spirit of us and how talented we are, how intelligent we, we are, our people are, how resilient, resilient our people are and uh, just how great of a community we are. Woo, I got chills going up and down my arms on that one. That's right, we changing the narrative. <laughs> I'm telling you, and uh, Shay Carter, Shay is, Shay is checking in probably from Lancaster. Uh, Van Dora Bricker says, second family member of mine in two days, proud of my family. Uh -huh. Thanks, Vons. Van Dora, yeah. just everybody's cousins except me. I'm the hey, only no, one. No. <laughs> <laughs> But I used to be, I'm everybody's uncle, Uncle Fonz, you know, all the stores, Uncle Fonz. <laughs> Jay Carter, it's good to see you. And Iris did say her idea is awesome, but she's Thank talking you. about Thank your you. hair as well. She's got two kindling fires, you know, that stuff that y'all do on here, the memes, I guess <laughs> they call it. Amazing. So, so, so what we're doing is we, we got a collective body of people and we're trying to change the narrative. Hey, Kay Jordan, it is good to see you. Don't forget to hit the share button, Kay. And that's the lasagna lady she just checked in. I mean, there's so many crazy people that be coming on here. She, we love them all, we love them all. Yeah, she make lasagna and go feed people that look like they, they hungry. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to give you my address or something. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, all right, so how has this experience been with you for these last eight, nine months that we've been together, putting our heads together? Um, I mean, I've, I've really been, feel like it's been a blessing um, just because it, I'm, I'm really seeing how much people want to have, to be, to be the change, basically. Yeah. So I'm really seeing how bad everybody wants to bring, bring each other together positively um and to really evolve and and it's really a powerful thing okay so now if somebody wanted to volunteer and help you in your area of expertise mm -hmm. are you open for somebody to come and carry your microphone carry your badge a gopher or somebody you know somebody that wants to be involved as we're changing the narrative i like that word uh, <laughs> um so for the initiative that um that i'm in charge of if you guys know of any uh, youth that are interested in media driven outlets or um, news reporting or journalism or any any organization that's youth based, uh, we're looking for people between the ages of 13 to 17, 18 um, that want to get involved and, and share their stories as well as other people's. That's good. That's good. And you already told us your goal in the area of your expertise, what it is you're trying to do and what you're looking for, am I yes. correct? Yes. Now, do you uh, do you see this as a one-time event or do you see this as something that should be carried on? I'd love it for it to be carried on um, and to continue to be reoccurring throughout the, you know, to go moving forward and to continue. All right, anybody out there, any of my viewers, and this is a, a surprise attack, I know that. Anybody out there have any questions? Because I told you this was gonna be a short, because usually when I get on on, on, a, on, on my midday, I usually run my mouth for about 30 minutes. People tune me off, tune me out after about 20. But uh, <laughs> we're not gonna add a whole lot of stuff to this because we're gonna have this in the archives. And I want you to know, that Brandywine Health Foundation has really had their finger on the pulse of what's going on. This was created by them. And it's just a blessing that they said, look, y'all come on, let's come together. Let's make this thing happen. And bro, I'm anxious to see what, what's going to happen, but we're going to need you, the community, to be a part of it. Right. We need you to help. 
arrange it, make it happen. Like when we when we start handing out some marching orders or or this is what we need, we need people to buy into it. We need people to attend. We need our children to be a part of it because the voices are gonna be coming loud. I mean, not loud like boisterous, but our voices will, will, will rise and people will listen and we need all the voices because that's what this is about. Yes. The whole thing. Yep. All that sitting home talking about, man, it's messed up. No, man. Nah, come on out, let's talk about it. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Shoot. And come on and get in camera. Uh, uh, Kay said, you came in. I came in late. What's the topic? The topic is the Coachville Black Media Renaissance, Kay. But you'll have a chance, once I sign off, you'll have a chance to go right to my page and listen to it again. Kay, it's about an event that, that has been funded by the Brandywine Health Foundation to bring awareness to the dysfunctions in regards to the coronavirus, the unjust criminal system, Whew, trying to remember stuff, uh, all that stuff. Okay, don't ask them hard questions, but stuff like that, this criminal system, uh, uh, economic downturns, all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. so you stick with us, bring your lasagna when we have it too. <laughs> all right, now what else? Who, who else we got out here? I think that might be, it. hey, look, Ebony. Yes. You have been, would you like to give anything insightful before we tune off? <laughs> uh, just to piggyback on what Fon said, we need everybody in the community uh, to drive this thing. It's just not a one man band. We are the committee that are, is putting things together and organizing it, but we do need everybody's voices. We do need all of your work or excuse me all of your input is important as well um in order to make things as a community we need the community's involvement so ebony roberts i want to thank you ebony roberts from joe black media sweet and <laughs> saucy filmmakers all that stuff man she <laughs> has been a blessing because you you know because you don't have to talk long yeah. for, your, for your for your voice to be strong so I want to thank you. I want to thank all my viewers. We're going to upload this, put this on YouTube, and we're going to keep y'all in the loop in regards to when this thing is going to finally culminate and how we're going to need y'all. So look, when in doubt, you check us out. If nobody told you that they love you today, man, brother, Fonz, love you. Coastville's rising. And I just want to say peace out. Ebony, thank you once again. Thank you. Peace out. Bam. <laughs> keep that hair growing. <laughs> Show bad. <laughs>